and happy Thursday. Welcome to Live Thursday. I think that's what I called it. Live Thursday, where I try to go live every single Thursday here on Instagram. Um, last week, I did not go live because the little Lucy was out of school. There was half term, but I'm here now, and we're down to some business before I go and get her, okay? So, those of you who've been following me know I've been really going through a lot of changes in my business. So as a Christian life coach, and I really do credit myself as a Christian life coach because I love changing people's mindset into helping them to live their best lives, right? But now, because of all of the things that I have been through and my own experiences, and I truly feel led by God to use every single thing that I have gone through to help other women in what I've learned and how I've grown and to help them in one particular way. And that way is to help you, Christian mama, if you're a Christian mom, to help you to start your God-inspired online business. Why? Because I have started an online business that was God inspired. And so I want to help you to do the same. I have been through all the thicks and the throws where I know that keeps us into this negative mindset and actually limiting beliefs. And I know you're probably thinking, I don't have that. I know, I know. Right. But the things that basically just hold us back from doing what God has called us to do, right? A lot of us are going to have different missions in life as God, children of God. I want us to remember that God wants us to be used by him for his purpose here on earth okay so maybe you have been given some ideas and god has been speaking to you in a certain way and you just do not know what that is and so i am here to help you and that is why today we're going to be speaking about how and what is your god inspired business idea what is it i got this question yesterday what is your what is a god inspired business right so it is not um i don't want to be complicated but really and truly, your God-inspired business idea is just a business idea that you know God has placed in your heart. Well, you're probably thinking, well, how do I know that God, God has placed it in my heart? It's because you have a desire for it. That's it. And I always say this, right? Your desires are from God. Your desires are placed there from God. My desires are going to be different from your desires, right? What you desire is going to be different from mine. We all have unique desires. Have you ever realized that, right? Somebody might want to be a doctor. Somebody might want to be a lawyer. Somebody might want to be a stay-at-home mom right we all have different desires the things that we want out of life and that's because god has given it to each of us we all have a role to play to bring about his kingdom here on earth and so that is your desire so if you're there and you're a mom and you're thinking you know what this 95 is taking me away from my kids i'm not spending enough time at home and i want to spend more time with my children i want to be there with them seeing them when they grow up but i have this idea to start a business and it just seems so scary i do not know where to get started I want to help you. And I say specifically online business because that is what, that was been my mission from the very beginning. I want to be able to work from home, the comfort of my home, stay with my little girl, work around her hours and make money, make an income and create the impact that I desire in the lives of the people on, on, the, on the internet, right? Because I truly believe that that's where the world is going right now. Everybody saw that with COVID, you know, people were um, encouraged to work from home, companies were having uh, work from home, and nobody really wants to do this face-to-face -face thing anymore. For one, I never like going to network marketing stuff. I mean, people see me all the time and be like, how oh, are you not a sociable person? How, do you, how are you scared to go to network marketing stuff? Like marketing and meeting people and stuff like that. And to be honest, I could be quite shy in real life. I could sh I show up really confident online because... I'm at home. I'm in the comfort of my own, own home, right? But I think when you go out there, you're kind of like, you know, okay, somebody needs to speak to me. And it's completely different, right? So I want to help you to be able to do um, what God has called you to. He inspired you to do something here from the comfort of your own home so that you can have the time and you can still create the income that you desire and the impact that you desire in the lives of the people, right? The people that you're going to serve. So that is what God, that is what a God inspired business is. It's basically doing what God has called you to do. All right. So right now I want to take you into a few little tips that's going to help you to get even deeper into what your God inspired business is, right? For me, it took a while for me to even, as I said before, like 
I changed niche so many times. I got trained as a hypnobirthing coach because I did hypnobirthing with my daughter um, three years ago. And I love the idea of mindset to overcome your fears, even with a physical thing like birth. And so I became a practitioner and I was helping women with their own birth as well, right? That was one, one aspect of it. Then I realized when I was doing that hypnobirthing, I love mindset. I love speaking to people and helping them to overcome their negative thoughts by the subconscious mind. And so I went into life coaching because I love to help people to live their most abundant life, especially Christian women, right? And so I did that for a while and then I was trying to figure out, okay, how can I help them best? And then I was switching to other things. Okay, I'm going to help overwhelmed women. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that, right? Well, that's the thing with business sometimes to get your footing into what people are willing to pay you for could be a bit of a you know trial and error and then now i'm here now i'm like okay i've done all of these things and what i can help and i know i'm confident 100 percent guaranteed help you to do is to start an online business where you could start to make some money i know i can do that i've done it for myself and i know that i can do it for you okay so here's some tips before i go into um how i can help you so one what do you love to do? What is something that you just love to do? Do you love speaking to people, encouraging people, motivating people? Do you like to organize stuff for people? Do you like to plan things for people? What do you genuinely love to do? What can you see yourself doing? Remember, this is your business, right? This is not somebody paying you to do something. This is you showing up every single day. And when you're starting a business, right, that is you. Nobody is pushing you. So you're going to have to stay motivated for yourself. And how you do that is by doing things that you love, doing something that you're passionate about doing something that God has given you the natural gifts and talents to do and it doesn't have to be natural to be honest because we could go out and learn the skills right because as, as we know if you want to become a doctor you can't just get up and decide I'm going to be a doctor you have to train to be a doctor my sister's a doctor right you have to train for eight plus years or whatever seven plus years and sometimes it's the same in business right you want to start a business you want to be the best at what you're doing you want to help other people you have a passion for it so you may need to like enhance your skills around it maybe you need to do a course around it it. Maybe you need to do some studies. Let's say if you want to be an accountant, right? I want to be a bookkeeper. You love accounting, you love numbers, but you don't specifically know how to do other people's books. So you might do a, book, a bookkeeping course, right? Just to sharpen your skills so that you can help other people, right? So just figure out what is it that you love to do and write that down. Have a note and paper, right? Another thing, what do people always ask you? Um, for advice around that's a great thing so the, the your friends and people that you know always like ask you um, advice for a certain thing right that's one thing or do they always commend you on certain things oh my gosh you are so good at planning oh my goodness Jane you are brilliant at organizing right do they commend you on a certain thing that people identify you are good at right now that doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna pay you for it but that's a great thing thing to show that there is a um you there is something there because you are seen as being good with that right that's a natural skill and talent that you have that you could sharpen so those are three ways that you can get started right there right so figure out what is it that you love to do see what people always commend you on and then see what other people in your life always ask you for advice around that's three things right there right then another thing that i want to add in here as well I truly believe during my five plus years here on business, on um, online business, is that people don't necessarily know what they want per se, right? So they may say, I want help with time management or I want help with planning and organizing, right? But they don't know how to tell you how you are supposed to deliver it, right? So that's another thing. So here in the marketplace, when you're when you're starting a business, having your messaging is so important and, and you hear that all the time, right? But what it really means is just being able to package what you have, your skills and your talent into something that your people or people out there is gonna be willing to buy from you, willing to spend money from you, right? So it has to be something that they can't do on their own and they need help around. It has to be something that they feel like, okay, um, there's an urgency behind it that they have to spend that money right now because it's something that they want. So if you go online right now on, on Instagram here, you will see reels, real courses are doing huge, right? So many um, social media strategists, they're coming out with their real course, their real challenges because reels are big on 
on social media here it's to me i it's not a big deal because i've done so many reels trial and error throughout right but then they are teaching you how to use your reels to sell your program but then for you to do that you have to know what you're selling right you have to know what is it that you are messaging what is it that you are giving to the market for sale right so that is the other thing so i was saying with those reels they're selling these real courses because they know it's a huge market out there people want to know how to sell during their reels using their reels and everything else so they are profiting a lot from these courses and that's brilliant right so you have to find something that people want that you can package into an offer that they are ready and willing to pay you for because this right so one they want to be able to um purchase the the product because they could see that you are the one who can help them and two um they want it now they want it now and they're ready to spend for it now right so that is absolutely brilliant and this is why in my power framework we do these strategies right and, and everything else but my focus has always been on the mindsets my po my focus has always been in getting clear and i use the word of god because god has given you the inspiration the bible says it is god who has given you all um power to create wealth right he has given you everything he's equipped you to do all the things that he has called you on this earth to do he has given you a purpose and he has given you a calling and he will give you exactly what you need to accomplish that okay and so for instance i always say Yes, you may not get it right all the time because many times we're being guided by God, but because of so many things in our way, anxiety, um, other people's opinion, um, cultural norms, Christian Christianity, religion, and all of these things, this can cloud what God is saying to us and our guidance. And so we could be led astray or we could feel lost. And many times all we need to do is just uncover all of these things, like layer them off in the mind, right? So that we can hear more clearly from God. And if you want to go into that, I have a course called Daily Divine Connection. And that is just um designed to do exactly that it's 97 dollars, and it's just helping you to connect more with god to hear from him right a lot of people say oh meditate and just like be in a silent place but as a christian believer we do not believe oh i don't believe in just sitting there and allowing because more and more as you read in religion right you could be hearing different voices and it doesn't mean it's from god right so this course is going to help you to connect more with god right how to spend time with him how to create a daily routine where you are connected to his source and i want to tell you a little bit about the bible story with that lady with the issue of blood i think is in luke right where she actually went out in the crowd and this lady she's been bleeding for like 12 years and she just she went every everywhere she tried everything she went to doctors she went everywhere and nobody was able to help her but one day she heard that jesus was visiting her village and she's like i've got to go and see jesus for myself because i know when i see him he is going to heal me she was confident of that fact her faith was so strong she knew just if she went to jesus she was going to be healed right she went out but guess what there were so many people surrounding jesus she was only a little lady and she did not think oh my gosh there's no way i could i could see jesus she said to herself if only i could touch the hem of his garment i know i will be healed that was her thought process that is why your thoughts your emotions and your feelings are so vital and in fact they are the primary most important thing that you should focus on when you're starting a business your thoughts your feelings and your emotions she thought to herself if only i could touch the hem of his garment i will be healed and what happened she went up she scurried herself through the crowd and she touched the hem of jesus's garment and instantly she was healed her belief made that happen her faith made that happen her thoughts her feelings and her emotions brought about her healing and it's the same for every single one of us healing is one part of it right we are able to create anything jesus says with faith as small as a mustard seed you could sit to that mountain move and it will be removed right your faith can heal people your faith can touch lives your faith can your faith can create changes in your life whatever you desire your faith can change it so what do you do to build your faith you start at your thoughts your feelings and your emotions and you start to direct them to god with his word and uh, on top of that that 97 dollars course is there for you but i also have my journal everything that i create is to do exactly that to help you to connect with god to hear from god to be inspired by him and to be led by him to be guided by him in this world you would hear all sorts all manifestation days and in the universe and all of these things and you know whatever they want to say 
But as Christian women, we want to be led by the word of God. We want to be led by speaking to God through prayer, through listening, through him speaking to us, through his word, through other people, through revelation, whatever it may be, we want to hear from God. And so I created this book. It's called the uh, Discover Your Discover Your Inner Power Journal. Can't remember the name, right? Discover Your Inner Power Journal. And it's designed to help you every single day to spend time with God. It helps you. So some of the prompts that I have here is there's prompts every single day. It's the same journal prompts to help you just to stay focused on what God is speaking to you and hearing from him. So I have three things that you're grateful for. Today's scripture, your declarations, your prayer points, things to do today, right? Your to-do list, so important as a mom. To get your to-do list i cannot tell you i do not go out there without my to-do list right doesn't mean i always do everything on it but i got things there on paper that's not going to make me feel overwhelmed and we go into all of that right your intentions things to remember and then you have your notes section where you can just write out your free thoughts and everything this book is so powerful the link is in the bio to get it and on top of that because i put all the resources here that i do every single day i have my notebook which is the who i am in christ notebook and this is one of the things that god spoke to me about who are you, right? So many times we're being led astray about who we really are. Oh, I'm a mom, I'm a sister, I'm a wife, I'm a accountant, yeah? Those are your roles. Who are you? You are who God says that you are. You are loved. Let me remind you, you are worthy. You are deserving, right? You are who God says. You are a child of the living God. And when you read into that space where that's rooted, where that belief, again, is there, everything changes because you show up in this world like powerful right you have to step into that power that god has given to you you take back authority from the enemy of his lies and the things that he's saying that you can and cannot do you do that by being rooted in who you are so this notebook is going to help you to just journal out your thoughts and your feelings and then go back to this is who god says i am and this is who i am right so these resources are there they all these books are on amazon the links is in the bio and my e-course is there for you as well it's all self-study and those resources are going to help you to just connect with god because we can do nothing without god christian woman we can do nothing without God. If we're not connected with him, praying with him, spending time with him, then we might as well just give up this religion because that's a religion, right? You're not having a personal relationship with him. And doing that consistently is very, very important to you being directed and guided accordingly. And many times as Christian women, we could be led astray, especially in business, right? Because so many different school of thoughts and so many different lies and so many things are coming into play. You need to know where your focus lies, what God is saying about you and what he's calling you to do. And then you're going to have to do the work such as rewiring your mind. And we do that through the power framework, which is my power framework. We do, that's the main focus of my power framework to help you to rewire your mind, right? So that you can start to believe what God is saying about you, so that you can start taking the action that he has called you to take action on. And then everything is going to fall into place. So people said to me, well, I want help with social media. I want help with Instagram. I've been there, I've done that. I've been on Instagram for like five plus years, right? I know all the things about Instagram, but if you don't have that foundation rewiring that mindset and being connected to God on a daily basis, all of this will mean nothing, right? So in my program, my new six month program, I will be helping you to do exactly that. We're gonna get in using the power framework. We're gonna help to rewire your mind, right? We're gonna get clear. We're gonna hear from God. He's gonna give you the direction because he absolutely will. He's been directing me ever since, right? But many times we are scared and that was my issue. I had fears around, oh, am I, am I able to do this? I'm able to do that. And I had to go back to my power framework and get connected and grounded in God. And then he started to show me the direction and the strategies that I need to take. Do real, do this. This is what you need to say. God is going to guide you because the things that you need to say is already there. The things that you need to do is already there for you. You just have to get to a space where you are hearing and you're being guided accordingly by God. Let me say that clearly because we could be guided by something else. We could be hearing from something else. And I am not judging anybody because I have been there. Where I've been like going down in a downward spiral by the enemy telling me certain things. And I was believing that, right? But no, God is like, no, no, no. Come over to the right side where I am saying everything that you have prayed to me is yes and amen. Abundance is on this side. Come over here. I'm going to show you what you need to do. And every time you veer over a little bit, you know, mm -mm, no, no, no. I'm going back to the right side, to Jesus, right? So that is what I do in my power framework. If this speaks to you, I would love to reach, love for you to reach out to me so we can discuss more about this program. It's a six-month program. I'm going to be able to take you from start 
and throughout that entire time six months i'm going to help you to start your business and be able to really really start to see you know results though get an income um provide for your family but most of all create the impact that god has placed in your heart and have that time with your kids so we're going to do it in the most easy and fun way that speaks to you what i've learned over these years here on on the internet right and with business is that everybody has their own way and everybody wants to teach you their way and that's fine because i have my way that i'm going to teach you if that's what you want right but the most important thing is for you to take what speaks to you and create your own strategy so i'm going to show you my power framework and the things that i have done but i'm also going to help you to create one that fits for you right and then you'll be able to teach your people or whatever you do right because that's the most important thing it has to fit around your life it has to feel good to you it has to feel fun it has to feel easy and that's what we're going to do in that program it's very very simple i'm going to help you to start your online business and i really do say online because that's where the world is going i really don't see the point of doing you could do like off offline yeah you can but i think you should still have an online presence because that is what's going to give you the time nobody has time to be chopping off your kids and picking up there and i i know some people have to do it because maybe you have an events catering business i get it but you want to have more time and even if you do that you want to be able to um change that right change the strategies and change the processes and be able to have more time with your family that's what it's about right the proverb 31 woman she was there she was a present mom but she was creating stuff she was selling she was buying things she was doing all the things in the most easy and the most simplest of ways because that is what god has given us everything that we need to do okay we can do it we get to have it all we women of god we get to have it all and one thing i have to remind myself is that we keep thinking that you know this is not for us here but this is exactly what it is for us here on earth and this lifetime that's why jesus came on this earth right so that we can have life and have it more abundantly he didn't say for when you die and you come to heaven right what was the point if god knew that we were just gonna come here and then die and go to heaven he wouldn't have jesus wouldn't have came to the earth because then we would have just go to heaven and we'd have the best life with god but god wants us to have the best life here and we do that by rewiring our minds because we are gonna we are here on this earth and this earth is not our own this is the enemy's territory and so he's filling us in with this culture and these things the society norms and everything else that is just blocking all that god has for us we're going to rewire your brain with the power framework and then we're going to help you to connect with god and to hear from him and he's going to show you the strategies and it's all going to be so simple and so 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 fun okay so be able to create your business with ease and joy and fun that is what i'm all about so if that is you and you you know, you were wondering, what is your God-inspired business? That's exactly what it is. It's a, a business idea that God has placed in your heart. He's told you that, you know, oh, maybe you can start a business. And, you know, you're wondering, how is that? I've given you three tips of how you can start to figure out what is it that you want to um, start and what kind of business that you want to do. That's something that you can do. And if, of course, nobody's told you anything, go ahead, speak to your friend. Speak to a friend. Hang on, ask somebody, you know, what is one thing that you think I'm really good at? What is one thing that you think that I am? Um, yeah, I'm really smart with and that comes naturally to me. Speak to someone, ask three of your friends and write down the answer. And then you within yourself as well, sit and ask God, God, what is it that you have given me? God said to me personally, I've given you gifts and talents and he has given each and every one of us. You remember that parable in the Bible when Jesus, <clears throat> sorry, when the master gave each servant, right? A talent, one, he gave one, one, he gave one, three and he gave one, five, right? We all have gifts and talents. You may have one, you may have three, you may have six, you may have many, whatever it may be. It is up to us to use it for the glory and the purpose of God and his kingdom. And that is what I want to help you to do as well. And I want you to make money from it because I know how it is. I've been there. We need to make money. We need to because money in the hands of good Christian women means good for the world. We can help others. We help our church. We give, right? We help those are in need. We give to... Um, the hungry and we feed and we take care of our family money in our hands is good so let's do this okay if this is you reach out to me i'd love to tell you more about my six-month program and almost forgot 
I am conducting a masterclass. I almost forgot. I am running a masterclass on the 17th of March. It's a Thursday, 8 p.m. UK time. I'm not sure what that is in the US, but there will be available a replay. But I want to encourage you to come onto that masterclass. It's a one hour class about or less, you know, mom life. But what I'm going to be teaching you in this is it's called how to start your online business with ease and joy. I'm going to show you exactly what it is, why it is that you need to prioritize your emotions, your feelings, and your thoughts first before you even start a business, before you even think of the idea, right? Prioritize your mindset first, why you need to do that. I'm going to show you how to do it with the word of God, with godly principles, because that is what we need to do is to use the word of God to power us and use it to create our most abundant life, simple. And then thirdly, I'm going to show you my power framework and how it's broken down exactly and how it's going to help you to do exactly all of those things with more ease and more joy. It's so powerful. So, if, so go ahead. The link is in the bio to join the masterclass to sign up for it. It's on the 17th of March. Sign up for that. But if you want to get started right away and you want to know more about my six-month program, reach out. I'm happy to speak to you about it, okay? Take care, my loves. I'm about to pick up my little girl from school. Um, This is why I went so early. You know, I try to do it when she's not here or else she'll be like in the background speaking. But thank you guys for being here. I would love to hear if this has been helpful to you. Please share it with other moms um, who are thinking of starting a business because we all can do it. Nothing is impossible with God and you can do all things with Christ. You are fully capable and you're fully able. And I want to help you to do just that. It doesn't have to be overwhelming. It doesn't have to be complicated. It it gets to be so simple you could work two three hours a day as long as you know what you're doing and your mindset is where it needs to be focused on god it's gonna be okay so reach out have a wonderful day guys i will speak to you all very soon take care and join me next thursday hopefully for a live with zani on a thursday take care bye